What's up guys, welcome back to the Mitsubishi Lancer Restoration. We're blown away how popular this series is, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you go watch our first two Lancer episodes. In today's video, we plan to do a tune-up on the car. We're gonna change the spark plugs, the wires, coil packs, air filters, and like the cabin air filter. And not sure what we will get to today, so stay tuned until the end, and we promise you we'll make another great video for you. All right guys, so a quick recap on a car. This is our $425 Mitsubishi Lancer that we, it was abandoned in a storage unit that we was gonna get just for learning how to paint, but we absolutely fell in love with this car just like a lot of you have. And we've been getting tons of comments, so we're gonna go ahead and do a tune-up. Everything on this car is working perfect, but the car has 80 or 90, what, do you remember the mileage? I think it was 96,000. 96,000 miles, and I don't think the spark plugs or coil packs, wires, anything's been changed. So we're gonna do that today. Change the cabin air filter. So let's get started with the spark plugs and get that done. When you do this, you wanna do one wire at a time and take a bunch of pictures. That way you don't get the wires mixed up. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal if you put, you know, run this wire to that coil pack. So it's a certain firing order. So you wanna make sure that you put everything back the way it should go. So this car has these coil packs that are built onto the boot and then, then there's two boots that are connecting to the other side of the coil pack so we're going to remove these two then we're going to blow compressed air down in this hole all the holes before we take the spark plug out that way if there's any sand or dirt it's not going to fall down into the cylinder wonder how bad the spark plugs are going to be Probably not too bad because the car runs really good. Before I change the spark plugs, I'm gonna blow some compressed air down in the hole. And good job wearing the safety glasses too. That's good. So for changing spark plugs, you wanna get you one of these 5.8 socket. It has a rubber grommet on the inside that holds the spark plug tight. So whenever your spark plugs are vertical down in, this will grab the spark plug and help pull it out. And it's especially important whenever you're putting a new plug in because if you have a regular socket, the spark plug will fall out and it'll close up the gap on the end of the spark plug. So these aren't expensive. We'll have a link on Amazon in our description. Uh, you can get you one. So here's the first two plugs. They aren't too bad, but the gap has opened up a good bit. They're at 75 thousandths and it should be at 40. They're not too bad. So we're gonna put some iridium plugs in. These are kind of off brand. It's not the best, but they're gonna be a lot better than what we had. And they're already set for 40 thousandths. See how you put this in this socket and it won't fall out. And don't start ratcheting it in. So you're gonna take it off of your ratchet and then just do it slowly and easily because you don't wanna cross thread this. Do it all the way by hand until it's tight and then just snug it up. All right, now Tyler's gonna put the coil packs with the boot on it in. How you know it goes that way? Because this connects to this right here. All right, very smart. Make sure it seats in very tight, then you can bolt it down. Wait, oh, it's gotta go harder. And then get your two bolts, start them with your fingers, and put them right there. All right, this one just no bolts on it. Just snug it in tight. Push it tight. It gets a good seal so debris doesn't get down in the hole. And then that just pushes in. Perfect. And then we do the same thing on these two. The 
just don't tighten it too much. Here's your other boot. There you go, good job. All right, we got all that changed. We're still gonna do a lot of other stuff like the PCV valve. We're gonna change this drive belt. This car has a time and chain, not a belt, so I'm not too worried about that. And also we'll change the, the thermostat. We'll do all that later. But I forgot to show you the spark plugs. They're all normal wear. The only thing is the gap on all of them is opened up. And we're going with a better iridium style plug, so that should make a pretty big difference. So let's put the cabin air filter in and I'm looking forward to trying out this new ozone machine. So if you remember in the last video, I detailed the car and the seats are over there, but the car was filled with dog hair, but it looks much better. But I just have a little bit left in that back seat to do, but it's like a thousand times better. Yeah, I can't wait to see how bad this cabin air filter is going to be. I bet it's going to be full of dog hair too. To remove the cabin air filter, all you have to do is remove the glove box, which we did to help with detailing. And then there's two screws holding this in and then you just take it right out. You've got to see this. This has to be the worst I've seen in my entire life. What is it? Looks like a humongous wasp's nest. All right, slowly take it out so we don't tear it up. That is a humongous. I don't even know if they can see it. I don't see too much dog hair. No telling what all was living in this car. There's a lot more that fell back. Hope it don't get down into the fan. Might have to get the vacuum. Look how bad. We definitely need that ozone machine. Think you got it all out? I got all the big stuff, but I had to get the vacuum and get all like the tiny pieces. This stuff is terrible. I've never seen any this bad. You got to re-detail the front. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Good thing you had the, the light on, that helped. That's a really good light. Let's check that out. So we got two of these from Odelphi. This is super bright. It, um, it's motion detected. It's got a bright and a light, a dim, I mean, and this, there's a light on the side, bright and dim. Super nice. It's Odelphi Strip Lamp Pro. You gotta check it out. Now while I have the filter out, I'm gonna spray some of this duct cleaner and in the fan and in each vent. That's no telling what's all been living in this car. That stuff smells good too. I like that. All right, now you can put the, the filter in. All right, make, you got the airflow pointing down. Yep. Good job. And normally they don't have screws. They just push in, but this one has two screws on it. I can say this is the, the worst one I've ever seen. All right. This is something that we've been wanting on our channel for a long time since we first started filming YouTube videos and it's the ozone machine. And many of your top detailers and used car dealers use this to get like mildew, the smoke smell, or anything bad out of your car. But I really don't know how it works. All I know it just gets the odor out and it can even be used in your house. So do you know how it actually works? Yeah, it's, it's kind of basic chemistry. See, we breathe O2, which is oxygen. Oxygen, it can't really stay stable by itself. So this machine uses ultraviolet light and splits the oxygen molecule down to a single element and that single element it attaches to O2 creating O3 and O3 is called ozone which is in the top of our atmosphere and ozone is really great at attaching to all kind of odors and smells and all that kind of stuff and it just cleans up the the air so that's kind of a quick little chemistry lesson on it So 
Yeah, we definitely need this since we're used, rebuilding a lot of old cars now. So we'll, so it has a timer on it. So we'll plug this in. We'll run it without all the seats and stuff in it. That way it'll be more concentrated. And then we'll, later on when we put the seats back in, we will um, run it again with the AC running. So let's, let's hook it all up and get the, the carpets smelling better. All right, I'm gonna put this in the car. I'm gonna set it on one hour and we're gonna go get a little bite to eat. But normally you would have this in your car with the AC running, that way it circulates all through the duct work. But we're gonna do that after we get the seats in, do with this again. If you had this in your house, you wouldn't wanna breathe this, so you'd put it on after you leave because O3 is an irritant to your lungs. So you don't wanna breathe this stuff. All right, it's running. It's quiet too. So let's close this up and we'll be back in one hour. All right, we're back from lunch. The ozone machine's been running for a while. That's, uh, we're gonna unplug it, take it out. It has such an odd smell, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a, a pungent, clean smell. You definitely don't want to breathe it because it'll, it's an irritant and it'll affect your lungs, but we're gonna open the doors up, let it air out, and Tyler needs to go. He's going to a fair tonight with all his buddies. So comment below if we ought to kick him off the channel because he's choosing his friends over the channel on a Friday night. But I still have a ton of work to do. I'm going to change out this AC knob. That seems to break a lot on these cars. I guess the plastic's getting old. And I found this replacement set on eBay. So I'm going to change that out, show you how to do that and who knows what else maybe start sanding on the car all right i started working on this ac first thing is i pop this panel off well actually i took the knobs off and there's two screws and i pop this off and then these two cables you have to go under here and disconnect them and there's two wires that plug in here so now i can pull this out Take this over to the bench and work on it. Took this little bracket off that goes on this side. And I was thinking that I would just be able to put some meter nose and pull it out, but that's not working. So I may have to take the entire front off to see what's holding it. All right, this was a lot tougher than I thought. I had to take pretty much everything apart. I had to take the circuit board out, that, everything. So next, it'll just come in here and you push that and you're able to pull that little lever out. So hopefully this is gonna be an exact match and we'll get it put back together. And I'll show you more now that I know how to do it and uh, putting it back together. And one little tip, see I made a mark there. So I knew where this needed to line up back here. So everything should be lined up just right. Now I can put this back on and lock it all in. these two cables right through there and we have two wires that we have to connect okay I got those connected Let's push this in now we'll go under here and connect those cables put the radio back in and that should be it
right, we got it all back together. Everything works perfectly. Got the glove box in. One thing we need to do is crank the car up and see if all this stuff works. So let's cut the AC off. We'll roll up this door. Let's see if it's even gonna crank up. Sounds good. She's idling perfectly. Hey, this is a great little car. Very happy with it. Amazon just showed up. I thought we was gonna have to wait on the air filter. This thing is horrible too. Full of dirt dauber. Dirt dauber. About to vacuum this out. We were supposed to do the air filter in the last video. We had it ordered and it actually got lost on Amazon. So we had to cancel that order. And then we ordered again and it just showed up. And we definitely needed that because that one was disintegrating plus it was full of dirt daubers. So definitely needed that. All right, guys, since Tyler's gone and the quality of the video is probably starting to take a quick little nosedive, I'm going to go ahead and end it here before he gets too mad at me. And we appreciate you so much if you're still watching. And if you could hit like, leave a comment. It means the world to us. Oh, and we're thinking about getting some T-shirts. Let us know if you like this style that's on the front. Or do you like this style? Or do you think we should just make something new, get something refreshed for our logo? Let us know down in the comments, and if you would like to buy one, that way we know if it's even something that somebody wants. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.